What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Let's get back to some solar stuff. Uh, I know that's what you guys subscribe to my channel to want to see for the most part. So here we are. We've got a, a flexible, semi-flexible uh, solar panel uh, from a company called Lensun today. Um, this is a newer technology than the uh, typical mono and polycrystalline uh, kind of fat wafer technology. This is a, a thin film technology. So basically it's a thinner film of silicon um, that is able to be lighter, um, thinner, <clears throat> easier to transport, carry, so forth. Um, so this is gonna be really good for people that are in RVs or camping or hiking or, or anything outdoors. Um, the, the, one of the cool things that I like about it is that in the future anyway, it will, it should be cheaper because they're easier to make. Now the, the uh, economies of scale haven't kicked in yet. They're not making enough of these yet to, uh, to really get that price point way down yet. So these are, these are still more expensive than the traditional poly and mono solar panels, but in the future that will change. Um, and also these are like the polycrystalline technology, uh, this is not subject to shading problems. So that's good too. Now the bad part is this is going to be a bigger panel uh, area wise than f for the equivalent watts uh, than a, a poly or a mono panel. So it's going to take up a little bit more space area wise, although it will be lighter and thinner. Um, so what that means is there's just not as much energy density uh, per you know square centimeter or square inch than the traditional technologies. Now that will change again in the future. The the uh, efficiencies will go up, but right now they're they're not quite there. And uh, the, another potential negative part of this is is a uh, shorter warranties. Um, the they don't last as long they degrade a little bit quicker than right now again since the technology is newer um, look for that to change in the future but right now you're not going to see the typical 20 25 year warranty on these that you do on the the mono and poly solar panels so again this particular uh, panel is made by a company called Lensun. they were nice enough to send me this uh, panel to review so let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we're working with Okay, so there's the solar panel unboxed. Um, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. So this particular panel looks like it is the same or smaller square inch wise, square foot wise than a, an equivalent 100 watt that I'm gonna show to you. So maybe that was some old information I was reading. I did a little bit of research on these. Um, so that's good news so far. Um, it does have MC4 connectors there you see on there already, which is wonderful for, that's the standard solar connector, um, so you don't have to do any soldering or anything like that. So right away it looks nice. Um, it, is, it is fairly rigid, so you're not going to be able to really, that's about as far as you're going to be able to bend it. <clears throat> But that's okay. I mean, again, it's it's lighter and more portable. Uh, it does come with a instruction manual, which is nice. Not all of the uh, the foreign uh, overseas products that I review come with that. So you'll see in here a two-year uh, warranty. So again, um, we're not we're not operating the same um, as as the uh, normal mono and poly panels yet. But it does have pretty nice uh, instructions in English with, with pictures and so forth for those who, who need that sort of thing. So that's good. Okay, so here we have side by side with a normal 100 watt solar panel over here to, with the typical aluminum frame. Uh, so as you can see, there this one's actually slightly bigger. So my research looks like maybe it was a little out of date. Uh, but anyway, um, so similar size anyways, this one's heavier and more rigid, lighter, thinner, more portable. Um, so what we're going to do, I've got some test equipment here. Um, I've got my uh, amp meter and uh, 
this little rig has a battery in it and a charge controller and so forth so we can basically we want to put a load on these two and we're going to compare um, since they're the same watts and everything I know this isn't a direct comparison they can be slightly different but we're gonna see what each one can do and kind of compare and contrast a little bit so we can understand the differences okay so we've got the traditional solar panel connected uh, it's charging the battery as you can see the little green light on the charge controllers flashing and uh, currently it is using one amp of power on this load so um, that's obviously not as much as the solar panel is capable of producing but that's what the load is drawing okay here we've got the thin film panel connected uh, we're producing one amp just like the traditional panel was and you can see that shading the panel will decrease the power slightly but it does not completely stop the, the power output of the entire series so um, that's pretty much it um, this panel as you can see it's it's well built um, it's it's got a rigid backing to it um, but it's got everything that you would expect on a normal solar panel it's got these grommets that you can use to attach it pretty much anywhere um, I'm not going to permanently mount this yet. I've got a, a, something in mind for this that we'll visit in another video later. But uh, if you're looking for something for uh, to easily hang on an RV or something when you're boondocking, or um, if you want to uh, take this uh, tent camping or something like that, this would be an awesome panel to do. This this would work. I mean, but it's just more cumbersome and uh, heavier and harder to pack and so forth so okay and just for fun here's the open circuit voltage of the thin film panel that's 19 volts and here's the open circuit voltage of the traditional panel it's 20 volts now that doesn't mean that this this panel is better it just means that the open circuit voltage is higher and therefore the amps required to get to the 100 watts will be actually slightly less than the thin film panel. They're pretty much the same. I just wanted to point out this one's slightly smaller, lighter, uh, more portable, all that kind of stuff. And I'm really happy. I think this is a good brand. Um, I was a little worried. Sometimes you can tell with, with these connections um, how chintzy it is. I didn't expect the MC4 connectors. That's a really good feature. So I would recommend this, this panel, uh, and I'll put a link to where people can check it out and buy it. And thanks for watching, guys. Thank you to my viewers and subscribers for your support. If you liked what you've watched, please consider donating to my Patreon campaign at www.patreon.com slash ldsreliance. All donations will be used to help create bigger, better videos for your viewing pleasure.